Hi, um, it's late and uh, I have a new haircut. Yeah, apparently it doesn't look good in the back. To me, it looks fine, but anyway, uh, uh, my talk for today will be about the masks for all uh, topic, which I think I haven't had a video yet about, uh, <laughs> though I filmed myself running with a mask. So just for to repeat myself, because I feel like I've told this story many times already, uh, on Sunday morning, I just, with the help of a hangover, uh, I just started doubting whether I should be jogging at all because um, joggers are, are kind of a nuisance. You know, in this time of crisis, these kind of, I'm sorry, I'm going to pardon my French, these kind of assholes are just going on, doing their jogging, trying to keep fit or whatever. When there's people dying, there's people suffering, there's people working, and then these guys are just like, I've got to keep my Strava, whatever. So I felt, I felt uh, really concerned because I've been enjoying, you know, Paris, deserted Paris is a, is, is a, is, is a, is a, is a pleasure for running, really. It's weird, but, um, so at the same time, there's this movement that, 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 that developed called, uh, masks for all that my AI, uh, 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 idols, some of them have, have, have been promoting, um, Lex Friedman and Jeremy Howard. So the idea is that we should just all wear masks and uh, just get over it and be like the Asians and just not be afraid of it and not feel stupid. And that, you know, masks are important for, for a variety of reasons, you know, to protect other people, to make other people feel good and to protect yourself, some, some combination of that. And so then the question is, well, we don't have the masks, you know, because we don't want to use the ones, the precious ones that hospitals need. So, but you can make your own masks that are okay. And so there was this, Lex Friedman explained how to make a mask out of uh, just a t-shirt and then I found something even simpler uh, that didn't require cutting anything that was just making a ninja outfit out of a t-shirt so I'm going to demonstrate this now I've done it twice already uh, it's worked pretty well for jogging so I, I feel like I feel less guilty about jogging and I mean one of my issues with 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 masks when I go outside was not that I mind wearing a mask I don't mind that but what I do mind is not being able to uh, communicate with people. And uh, I know we have to do social distancing, but I feel like we should also still be human to each other. And when you wear a mask, then it's your worst. But I think it's better to, to just wear the mask. And, 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 and um, even if it's not absolutely necessary when you're outside, uh, I think it's better. And I, I got confirmation from Hélène talking to her that when she walks with Alexandre and she really dislikes these joggers that come by much too close and she has to get out of their way and they're sweating and spitting and just kind of oozing. And it's, yeah, I just hate those guys. So I don't want to be those guys. So anyway, so this is the thing. So here I'm going to use my... I have a whole collection of t-shirts that's amazing. And so this, I love this t-shirt. I used to wear this a lot, like 10 or 15 years ago. Herald Tribune, New York Herald Tribune, reference to the movie by Godard. So uh, I can just turn this into a ninja mask, which will also serve as a mask. So I have to take off my glasses, I think. So I just put it on like this. Now let's remember, in French there's an expression, le ridicule ne tue pas. Being ridiculous won't kill you. And I, I add this, this, this extra thing. For sure, being ridiculous will not kill you. But fear of being ridiculous, especially in this situation, could kill you or could kill other people. So don't be afraid of being ridiculous. I don't usually, I mean, everyone has a fear of being ridiculous. But okay, so here's the thing. Okay. But actually, so I move it back like this. And uh, I think I do something like this. And basically, I take the back and I put it on top like this. And I take the sleeves. 
So this is for the top part, which is not necessary for a mask. But, and then I have the Herald Tribune. And I'm a ninja. And I tie it. Sometimes I tie it too tight. But I really like how this reuses the... Uh, okay, now I can put my glasses back on, perhaps. I think I've done this before, but... Right. So here we go. Oh, this t-shirt smells a bit funny. So this is only one layer, okay? So... Oh. So it's, it's, it's not... It's, you know, it's, it's, it's one layer of cotton. But I like the way it looks. Okay. Hell Tribune. That's badass. And then I can, I can wear a, a, a hoodie over it so I don't look so much like an Islamic terrorist. I was cheered by some possible gang members in this sort of scary area where there's the housing projects near the Parc de Belleville. And there were these two guys in a car and they saw me go by and they were like, yeah, yeah. It's like, maybe they thought I was, I was a, a Islamic, uh, whatever, what are they called? Uh, ISIS or whatever. But yeah, so this, this works, right? This, this works pretty well. It's tied and so on. So I could go jogging right now, but I, I'll, I wait till tomorrow. And uh, yeah, feels good. How awesome is this? And then I just, as soon as I use it, I just toss it in the wash. And uh, you know, the virus is allowing us to try some stuff and uh, Yeah, I feel, I feel a bit strange wearing this, but not that strange. It's okay. This is, this is the world that we live in. Allahu Akbar! No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But yeah, I mean, turns out the Muslims were right, right? I mean, the women have to wear it, and then the terrorists, they wear it, so. Masks. Hiding your identity. The Chinese do it, the Muslims do it. Why don't we do it? That's it. Masks for all.